Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello my darlings, today's oil painting time lapse features a recently completed still life titled Epilogue. Real quick before I begin, if you'd like to see a 60 minute tutorial of this video with a color mixing demo, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. And also, there's a pinned comment with a link to a survey that I would love your input on in order to improve my future Patreon and YouTube content. Thanks in advance for your feedback. A few months ago, I was invited by one of my favorite galleries, Arch Enemy Arts in Philadelphia, to participate in a still life themed group show that runs from May 19th to June 11th. I don't think I've painted many still lifes in general, and I can't recall if I've ever done a single oil painting still life, so I accepted this gallery show invitation in the hopes of embarking on an exciting new artistic adventure. I've mostly been used to telling stories through fantasy-themed portraiture, and it was an interesting thought exercise to try to come up with a visual narrative through a still-life composition. I, of course, wanted to incorporate a skull, as the skull is the closest still-life object to a human head. The skull obviously can't have facial expressions, so I needed to count on the surrounding objects, lighting, and composition to convey a uniform emotion. In this case, I went for an old antique book, some orchids, and candles in a dark, somber environment to depict a sense of nostalgia and melancholy. I titled the piece Epilogue because it's a book-related term that ties in with the visual motifs, but also the word epilogue evokes a sense of the ending of a story. It's the last conclusion at the end of a long novel, similar to perhaps the reflection of one's own journey of life in the final days. I usually don't like to paint things that make me sad, and in general, I'm someone who doesn't even like to put myself in an emotionally vulnerable position that opens me up to the possibility of feeling sad. But this piece helped me embrace the sadness that I usually try to avoid. Because to be human is to experience the entire spectrum of human emotions. It's unavoidable that at some point in our lives, we will have to deal with loss, goodbyes, and grief. And instead of numbing those emotions out of fear of their emotional burden, we can instead choose to allow ourselves to feel human things. During the experience of losing my cats two years ago, I kept reading about how the only way out of grief is through. And by trying to delay our grief, it will only fester and erupt later even stronger. Art has been such a great source of relief and therapy during some of the lowest moments in my life. It's always been my escape from whatever problem I was dealing with, so in some ways I wanted to protect this mental sanctuary by never depicting anything sad in my work, and always avoiding any artistic concepts that would put me in a bad mood, so to speak. But similar to how numbing away our sad emotions detracts from the full breadth of the human experience, 
In my attempt to avoid tarnishing my work with any sad or vulnerable emotions, I also missed out on the opportunity to deeply express my innermost self through telling personal stories in my work. Painting ethereal fantasy portraits will still always be a great source of joy for me, and I think whether I did it intentionally or not, I do leave small breadcrumbs of my personal expression in each piece that I create. But when it came to doing my first still life oil painting, I thought it was about time that I finally mustered up the courage to show some intentional personal vulnerability in my work and also on this channel. Anyways, that about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for listening to me open up a bit. I didn't intend for this oil painting video to get so personal and deepen the feelings, but it's nice to be vulnerable with you all every once in a while, and I sincerely appreciate you for listening. If you'd like to see the painting in person or adopt it through the gallery, it'll be on display through June 11th at Arch Enemy Arts Gallery in Philadelphia, and I'll also include the show information in the video description. If you'd like to adopt fine art prints of this piece, I have it listed in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And of course, you guessed it, my eternal never-ending sale is still going on in my shop, so if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. <laughs>